This lesson is solving equations using integers when multiplying and dividing. That's in our chapter 2 and lesson 5. The first equation you see, you have a divided by negative 3 equals 9. Now, if we separate both sides, our goal, remember, is to get a by itself. Now, also, before I go any further, remember that you must remember to do the opposite operation to both sides. So, if we have a divided by negative 3, the opposite operation of dividing is multiplying. The opposite of dividing by negative 3 is multiplying by negative 3. So we're going to multiply both sides by negative 3. If I have a variable here, and I divide it by 3, then multiply it by 3, or divide it by negative 3 and multiply it by negative 3, they just cancel each other out. And I'm going to be left with my variable A. This other side, we're multiplying. First of all, I notice that the signs are different. So when the signs are different, remember, the answer is going to be negative. Now I'll simply do the, the math. 9 times 3 is 27. If I take the negative 27 and plop that in where my variable is, 27, I'm sorry, negative 27 divided by negative 3. The signs are the same. The answer will be positive. 27 divided by 3 is 9. So that checks. Always remember to check your work. Now on the other side, we have negative 42 equals 6x. Now the opposite operation here, the opposite of multiplying by 6 is divide by 6. Divide both sides by 6. These cancel. I'm left with x by itself. On the left side, I have a, a negative integer divided by a positive integer. The signs are different, so the answer is going to be negative. Do the math. 42 divided by 6 is 7. If I take that 7 and I plop that back in where the variable is, the original equation says 6 multiplied by negative 7. The signs are different, so the answer is going to be negative. That checks. And 6 times 7 is 42. And that checks. Always remember to check your work. I hope that helps.